feel to just get back out there and, and be playing again. Yeah, exactly what I needed, man. It's been a while. It's been a long time since I touched the field. I don't know. When I touched that field, I was going to go full speed the whole time I was out there. It felt great. I got to play it for my family again, everything I needed. You know, that first series Louisville had, you had a tur tackle really early on, I guess. How much did that kind of help set the tone for everything? Man, the tone set so when we stepped on the field. So when we got off the bus, walked on the field, it felt like you just knew you was at a game. Just on that play, I kind of already knew that they were going to run the quarterback draw just by the formation. Uh, kind of built my responsibility. And just took a, I took a risk and, and just hit it and made the big play. You know, um, there were some times that the, the defense struggled a little bit, um, especially on third down. I guess looking back at the film, what can you guys do as a, as a group, as a team, uh, defensively to make sure those types of things don't happen again Sorry. Uh, this Saturday? Our focus this week is just stressing, stressing third down. I feel like we did really good, really good on the first and second down, but we wasn't really toned in all the way on third down. So the whole this this entire week, I've been yelling third down, money down, money down, literally echoing it over and over again, just stressing the fact that we got to get off the field. Hey, Eli, it's Jeff Lighty from WBKO. You talked about playing in front of your family at the Louisville game. Now, you'll be playing here in Bowling Green. So what's that going to be like to play back here for the first time in who knows how long? It's in a uh, – it's everything I've been waiting on. I keep saying, like, the fact that, like, I have all my uh, old coaches, teammates always hitting me up. The time I can't wait to come watch you play. I got old teachers talking about we're excited to see you play. It's just a – this is just the fact that playing home in Bowling Green, my city, you feel me I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to give it the best game I got because a lot of people counted me out saying, man, you tore ACL in high school, Achilles, now it's how can you come back? And now it's just like proving the point because I feel like everybody forgot about Eli Brown for a minute. Now, you, you talked about overcoming those injuries. What's it been like, you know, that road to come back and to finally get that first game action uh, after, you know, overcoming all that rehab from those injuries? And you go down a dark path for a while. Like, you go through a minute of, like, is it worth it? Do I want to put my body, continue to put my body through this and stuff like that? But then you have to sit back and realize, like, why are you playing the sport? Do you love the sport? Do you not? I think the people who come back from multiple injuries, it's, it gets to the point, like, do you actually love the sport? And that's all I, that's all I know. That's all I care about is playing football. So there was no question about me coming back and playing in front of the fans and playing for Bowling Green. My thing is, like, one thing I want to do is leave a, a stamp in Bowling in the city in Bowling Green. You know, to kind of follow up with that, um, I know you talked a lot about the mental side of it, but physically, what has it been like to try to come back from that? And I know Coach White, we just had him. He talked about uh, it was a good chance for you to put on some weight and stuff like that, too. Yeah, man. Before the corona hit, I got up to 225. And that's the heaviest I've been since I've been in college. And it felt great, you know what I'm saying? And just being able to play – as you see on the field, like I feel, I feel more toned out. I feel, I, I feel better now. To like, now after the game, I'm not. My body's not beat up. I feel recovery time is more. It's it's easier. You know what I'm saying? So last year, and what when I did play for the injury, I was playing at like 205. So after the game, I'm barely walking, legs hurting. So just the added weight you put on your body, it, it helps for and helps you play longer, learn longer series series too. And, you know, I know you talked about trying to put on for, for the family, for your friends here in Bowling Green, knowing this is going to be your last go around playing football in the city that you grew up in. I'm guessing the NFL is not going to put an expansion city here or anything, but I guess how special is that to just come in here knowing it's the last time you're probably going to be out here playing in front of these family and friends? Man, it's a bittersweet moment for me, uh, especially because it's real. It's it. It means a lot to me playing for my family because my family, we, like, it's all we know is sports. So we eat, breathe sports. Sunday night, anything's on. We all. That's what brings us together, sports. So I feel like I'm the last one, and the family who's uh playing, who's in sport right now. Everybody else is grown. So I think my family is really big on like going out with a bang. You know what I'm saying? Because it'd be a while. We got like oh, we got the grandkids and stuff, but it'd be a while till they get older, <laughs> older to play sports. So right now it's like. Is our basis everything we got right here. Eli, you guys, you know, got Liberty this Saturday. Uh, you guys only gave up seven points to Louisville. It was just a one big play in the second half. What can you guys – what do you guys do well in that second half that you hope to carry over into this game on Saturday? Man, well, I, man, I, what, what we stress in communication. I think sometimes we, we lack communication sometimes. We get started 
brains get scattered around and stuff like that. So I think it's now it's like slowing down, especially for me. Like sometimes I get to looking around. So I think it's now it's to the point like like in second half, we, we slowed everything down, we communicated, and we just played out. We played our ball, the ball that we know, the defense we know, you know what I'm saying? We had a motto, put the ball down, and we had to continue playing like that. So we have to continue doing that, not from the, from the jump, from the first half to the second half, not just for the second half.